Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and we'll start off by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So this pair has been um, really bullish the last different two weeks, but uh, recently we have uh, run into resistance, and that was expected because um, this area has in the past uh, been uh, a major resistance for this for this pair. We can go back to uh, all the way back to March, and also in February, and also in in January, where we tried to test this level and we were rejected until we came into March, and we absolutely this market completely collapsed. Since then, we have been in an upward trajectory, and we have been quite bullish. Um, but last week. Um, the US dollar uh, strengthened significantly and that will probably affect this market probably the next week or maybe the two week, next two weeks where we'll see um, a stall in the market we'll probably find a new range within this area this box here before we go higher uh, and the reason why I say that we'll go higher is because uh, as long as the Federal Reserve uh, continues its quantitative easing and printing uh, money, basically pumping cheap money into the market, um, the U.S. dollar will depreciate and it will go uh, it will go much lower than the U.S. dollar index compared to other currencies. Of course, others uh, other central banks are doing the same thing, but not at the same um, the same amount as the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve. So. I intend uh, this market will most likely go higher. Uh, what we will see is that we, we will retest some of these um, foreign resistance areas. So the 20 exponential moving average has been a resistant area. So we may go down to here, which is at uh, 1298. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll go lower than that. Um, so we'll most likely go uh, all the way down to 12, 18 or something like that before we go higher. Um, another way you can look at this is that we are creating a similar flag pattern as we did down here. And uh, that may mean that we will gradually grind down to the 20 exponential moving average before we go higher. Uh, I would just look at the... the uh, US dollar index uh, and see what basically happens there because if that starts falling then this uh, market will go uh, much higher and the next resistant if we break this uh, resistant area here at the 1316 and then we'll go all the way up to to 1350 so and after that if we cross that area we'll go all the way to uh, 1433 so at the moment, this is not an area you uh, you should buy. This is not an area where you should sh should sort the uh, the best thing to do at the moment is basically buy the dips. Wait until this market goes lower in order to to get the value and then buy. If we buy at this area here, you'll probably wait uh, several weeks before you get back to this level, um, and then yeah. That is just a waste of time. And the reason why I say this, that way I expect this to go lower, is because these indicators also indicated. Of course, they will have a, a, a appreciation of the US dollar, uh, and all these indicators, indicators show that we are going lower from here. So the MACD is clearly going to cross the signal line uh, on Monday, on Tuesday, indicating that we're going lower. Uh, we were way overbought. We are still way overbought, so this uh, RSI uh, line will go much lower, probably all the way down to 50 before we go higher. This would be somewhere, yeah, probably 40 before we go higher for the next run. You can see the Bollinger Band. There's a lot of volatility, but, uh, but we are at the top of the Bollinger Band, and we're on our way down. 
uh, stochastic as well, uh, also indicating that we are at the top of the stochastic and we have crossed the line and will go much lower from here. So uh, best trend tactic at the moment is just to wait and buy, get some value before buying because this market will continue upwards as long as the Federal Reserve has its uh, current monetary policies. So next on our list is the US, uh, US dollar and the yen. And as you can see, we had a quite a bull run uh, recent trading days. We ran into the uh, 20 exponential moving average and got rejected. And we have been rejected there uh, three times recently. So uh, this is clearly a significant support area. And um, if we break that, we would get a candlestick above this, then we'll go higher. We'll go to the 40 exponential moving average and then to the 50 exponential moving average. I truly intend, I expect us to go all the way back to the 50 exponential moving average. That is around 106. Um, and that's also because the US dollar is uh, uh, increasing in value. And, and we are, uh, we have been way oversold in this market. We went all the way down to 19. And that is significantly oversold. So at the moment, the RSI is at uh, 39, which is a little bit ab above our shoulder. So we will most likely go all the way to, uh, to uh, around 70 or there, and before we go uh, continue downwards. The same goes for the MACD. We have clearly crossed the signal line indicating that we'll go higher. Uh, we crossed the Bollinger Band here, uh, not last week, but two weeks ago. And we will most likely go all the way back to the highest of the Bollinger Band before we go down. Um, the reason why I say that we'll, we'll go down is the same for the uh, Great British Pound and the US dollar. And that is that I truly expect the US dollar to depreciate even more. And that will mean that um, this market will go lower. It has been in a, in a, in a bearish uh, or a where the trend has been bearish for, for, for quite a long time now, all the way back to March, we have been on this bearish run. So there are a few significant uh, support areas here. If we were to break all of these uh, 15 moving average, this would be a significant support line. And if we cross there, that basically means that we'll have a trend reversal and we'll go much higher. But this will be absolutely the optimal uh, where you should start selling again and that would be amazing if we got back there so moving on we are going to the euro and us dollar and as you can see this is very similar uh, to the great british pound if you look those two moves we have one flag here and we are creating another flag pattern here that is the same in the uh, uh, the, in the euro, we created a flag pattern here before we basically got this amazing move to the upside. And that is probably what is going to happen as well here. We'll gradually grind down. And if we get down to uh, to 1150, that would be amazing. Uh, because the, the trick here is basically to um, look for value. And that means that you know that this um, market is going to higher. Is going to go higher, and uh, and at the moment we are in a, in a in a consolidation that will go go lower, and you just technically have to wait uh, for us to basically hit the fifteen moving average, which will go up similar something like this, and then you can basically buy on that dip. So all the other indicators here also show that we are going to go lower. The, the MACD is crossing the signal line here, indicating that we'll go much lower, probably all. And the same goes for the, for the RSI, is clearly on a downward trajectory. And the same goes for the Bollinger Band and also Stochastic. So um, you could, if uh, basically sell here, I would not do that uh, because it could start moving upwards at any at any moment there's no guarantee that we'll go 
all the way down to uh, to uh, to eleven fifty or eleven sixty or uh, or any anything like that. There's no guarantee for it. It just looks similar to this pattern, and these indicators technically show that we will most likely go lower. But uh, time will tell. At this moment, this is not a good idea to buy. Uh, and it's not a good idea to sell. You just have to take wait until we get around 16 or 15 uh, to 160 or 115 uh, in order to to uh, to buy these dips. So the Aussie and the US dollar. So the Aussie has been really resilient here. We had a quite a nasty uh, bearish candlestick here on Friday. However. It has been testing this uh, 20 exponential moving average for several months now. So I don't expect it to, 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 um, to basically drop anywhere significantly uh, below the 200, this 20 moving, exponential moving average. Uh, we have the MACD indicating that we'll go lower. Probably see something similar to this candlestick here where we basically cross and then we jump again we are not oversold we're not overbought either but we are in a downward trajectory there is not a lot of volatility in this market as the, the bullinger band basically shows but we probably go a little bit lower and uh, the stochastic also indicates that we probably go lower it has not crossed this line so um, time will tell um, this is also similar to the, the great british pound and the uh, uh, Euro and US dollar technically buy on the dip. Um, at the moment, I I prefer trading the uh, Euro US dollar uh, and probably also the Great British Pound US dollar uh, to the Aussie US dollar. If we look at the Canadian or the US dollar Canadian dollar, we can see similar to similar pattern as the yen and the and the the and the US dollar. And that is that on, on Tuesday and Friday, we had this uh, really bullish candlesticks, and that is due to the uh, increased value of the US dollar. But here we have the, the 20 exponential moving average also being a significant uh, support, not resistant, and we also have above uh, the 50 moving average being significant uh, resistant. So, this market probably will go uh, a little bit higher if we see a candlestick that closes above the uh, uh, 20 expansion move average we then will go to test the 50 but i don't expect us to go any higher than that we'll see something like this where we will uh, cross the 50 moving average and then we'll go down again uh, so this is clearly this market is clearly in a downtrend and we can see this channel here that we are basically trading within this channel, which is in a downward trend. So when we basically hit this area here, that is a selling opportunity and then just go bouncing uh, all the way down. And this will technically continue as long the, as the Federal Reserve has its uh, exponential um, a monetary policy so i hope you find these videos uh this video um, helpful uh, you're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the like button and the subscribe button and um, well good luck and uh, and see you later bye bye